The Indian Navy's acquisition of six conventional diesel-electric submarines under the Project 75I is likely to get delayed by one year, as the government has now pushed back the bid submission date from November 2021 to June 2022, as the majority of foreign participating companies found it difficult to meet the first deadline. Officials have confirmed that the order for all the six submarines will go to the L1 lowest bidder and will not be split between the two Indian shipyards Larsen and Tubro and Mazagin Dock Limited. If the bid submission takes place in June 2022, it will take another two years for the government to consider it before orders are placed by the end of 2024. The chairman of Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has said that the Duwu shipbuilding of South Korea and Germany's Tissencrypt Marine Systems are the only foreign collaborators compliant in terms of timelines as per the request for proposal, and Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has the capacity to simultaneously construct 11 submarines at its Mumbai facility. The Indian Air Force will send five FOC Standard Tejas Mark I fighter jets to Britain. For a joint combat exercise Cobra Warrior 2022, that will start at the Waddington Air Base from 7th March with the Royal Air Force, that will also see participation of aircraft from the air forces of Saudi Arabia, Belgium and Sweden. The pilots will be executing complex airborne missions, air-to-air -air operations in mock dogfights and aircraft interceptions, as well as simulated ground attacks. The Indian Air Force will also deploy C-130J and C-17 aircraft, but refueling aircraft will not be a part of the group. Three Tejas fighter jets with three external drop tanks recently flew more than 3,000 km non-stop to Singapore for the air show, that also demonstrated the long-range ferry capabilities of the light combat aircraft. Under the $2.8 billion contract for 56 C-295 aircraft for the Indian Air Force, Airbus and Tata Group will establish its manufacturing facility at the Dollar Special Investment Region in Gujarat, that will be used to manufacture 40 C-295 aircraft. Airbus will also source equipment and systems worth 30% of the total contract value from Indian partners. The additional Secretary of Department of Defense Production has said that the Ministry of Defense will release a bigger negative import list by the end of this month, that will include components as well as line replacement units, that will be offered to local industries for production, with an assurance of procurement order. The private sector firm New Space Research and Technologies that has been working on CATS project with Hindustan Aeronautics, has raised $21 million funding in its first round at an undisclosed valuation, which shows the interest of investors in India's defense and aerospace sector. New Space has said that this funding will be enough for the company to deliver products to the Indian government in the next 18 months. The Indian Air Force has started the five-day joint air exercise Eastern Bridge 6 with Royal Air Force of Oman, to enhance operational efficiency through interoperability and share tactics and best practices. The Indian Air Force contingent comprised of Su-30 Jaguar Strike Aircraft and Mirage 2000, while the Royal Air Force of Oman deployed its F-16C fighter jets. The Troop Comforts Limited that has been carved out of the Ordnance Factory Board, has signed a Memorandum of Understanding with IIT Delhi, to develop smart protective clothing for the Indian Armed Forces deployed in high-altitude areas, special clothing for protection from ballistic weapons, and development of sensor-fitted garments. Ever since Ukraine rejected the Chinese bid to buy a major stake in the Ukrainian aviation company Motor Sitch, and imposed sanctions on Chinese individuals and entities involved in the deal, China has now employed covert tactics to acquire Ukrainian military technology. Chinese agents and Pakistan's ISI are trying to steal defense technology including tank engines and other hardware from Ukraine. Oh, Mark,